Knowledge Bar. My name is Jerry. I'm going to be your knowledge expert and going over some ideas on how to take your analog audio collection and digitize it so you can upload it onto the internet or put it onto an MP3 player, your iPod, or something else. So let's uh, take a look first off at the idea of what to do with our, uh, our tape cassettes. Well, actually, step back a little bit. First off, quite frankly, there's very little in the way of uh, music by contemporary artists that isn't available in a digitized format. So, uh, quite frankly, I mean, unless you have a really obscure Grateful Dead concert uh, that was uh, burnt onto uh, onto uh, onto vinyl or you know, recorded on your own individual uh, cassette player at the time, it's probably already out there, either on iTunes or some other legitimately acquired location to uh, to get the music. Or if you already have the players and they're still in working condition, you can take of your, your, your player, whether it's the, uh, the record player or your tape player, output it through uh, RCA cables, convert that into a uh, mini jack into the back of a computer with recording sound and you can do it that way. But if you don't have that or you have niche equipment or perhaps you have audio records uh, that were never uh, mass produced, time to get some standalone equipment. Now, for, uh, for tape cassettes, Got something here. This is by uh, by Grace. This is the this is their uh, tape to USB uh, two device. And what this is is a uh, it's a player. It also has a microphone and speaker built into it. Yeah, no computer comes with it, by the way. And uh, it has a USB connection, so you don't have to add anything new to your computer. Um, so software comes with this, both Macintosh and Windows uh, uh, compatible. And we're able to go ahead, take our tapes, pop it inside play, it's recorded into your computer, and boom, it's already digitized MP3 format, and you can edit it from there. So that's a convenient way to get going with, uh, with cassettes. Some of the more interesting equipment is uh, we've, got our, uh, we've got our vinyl, we've got a stack of wax someplace that we want to uh, convert over. This is the uh, Audio-Technica USB turntable. Now, again, it doesn't come with a computer. I feel bad that I actually have to point that out. but. Um, Again, USB connection, so we just plug it into our existing computer. We don't have to open it up, add a sound card, or do anything else. Once again, it comes with both Macintosh and Windows software to record the music and then be able to edit it and put it in whatever format you like. Uh, with one, uh, one record player format we also carry here at Micro Center, which uh, kind of caught my eye. This is the, uh, this is the Crosley uh, portable USB turntable, and the way how this one works it's, it's only this big, and so what I thought was kind of neat is that would, you could open it up like this and set the arm off to the side over here and put our record, set it up like so. And there you go. Um, I think Sony actually made something like this that actually worked with CDs. Uh, I just thought it was just a, a neat idea, nothing, some, ne ne uh, not a necessarily a permanent addition to your equipment. Uh, if you want something that you actually want to be able to always be able to, uh, to play your vinyl or your tape cassettes, you also have, also by Crosley, <laughs> this is called the Archiver. It comes in this great box. It goes for uh, it's only $170, and it handles uh, both the uh, vinyl and tape cassettes. Anyways, come on down to Micro Center for a little bit more detail. Thanks for watching.